Hey guys, Kyle Vosberg with Master's Choice. Thought we'd spend a little bit of time today talking about black cutworm. I've had a few phone calls and walked a couple fields already this year that have a little bit of issue with black cutworm. So I thought we'd spend just some time talking about black cutworm, how to address the situation, and how to plan for the future um, and not having to deal with this pest. So black cutworms traditionally affect corn that are late planted. Usually we see them in corn fields that are planted, you know, late part of May, into June. Um, ones that are just a little bit uh, delayed in their planting. Um, we also tend to see uh, black cutworms affect corn that are in no-till situations, as well as corn fields that are adjacent to lying pastures. Pastures make a great place for black cutworm eggs to lie um, until they hatch into the larvae stage. Uh, so we often see them uh, in, in an adjacent field. So black cutworm tend to feed at night and in the early morning on overcast days. So if you're gonna go out and you think you might have an issue, maybe you have some, some emerged V2 plants laying over and you think you might possibly have a black cutworm issue, I would get out in the morning where there's a cloudy overcast day uh, so you can possibly catch them in there uh, during their feeding times. Uh, the thresholds seem to, to differ depending on who you talk to. Um, I've, I've usually uh, lived off of the two to five percent of your plant stand. So if you if you are going out and doing a plant stand count and you're seeing plants that are affected by black cutworm and have been fed on um, anywhere in that two to five percent of your total plant stand, I would look to be taking action moving forward. So. My recommendation is almost always um, a, a topical or a broadcasted insecticide, uh, whether that be force um, or whatever product you tend to use uh, for a, uh, an insecticide is an option to stop black cutworm. Um, if you have done this and, and this is your, your plan, um, you should have a good coverage and, and control of those and then possibly looking forward to changing some things up. Uh, whether that means maybe a tillage method the next year, um, just incorporating insecticide into your uh, every year uh, planting situation and or post planting broadcast. Uh, but any way you can to just control this issue uh, before it becomes detrimental to your corn crop. If you have any questions at all about black cutworm or anything uh, regarding any corn pest that you may be dealing with, please feel free to call the office um, and we'd be more than happy to walk you through that.